Hi, welcome to Car Hunter UK. So what am I going to be doing today? Well, I've just had a brew. I'm in the garage and I'm thinking, what shall I do? The weather outside is absolutely... So, I'm thinking, let's change the front end of this connect. Now, nothing drastic, not changing bumpers or anything like that. I think I'm going to have a go at doing something different with the headlights. Now, on previous videos, I usually use that fly eye stuff, which is like a film that goes over the headlights. That's good, you know, I've got no complaints with that. It's just, I want to do something a bit different. So I'm going to paint the inside of these lights in black and hopefully it will make the front look a bit more modern because it's a it's an old van but the sides look mint of the van it, it, it looks attractive the side of the van does the back looks fine it's just the front hasn't got much going for it i know i've put this bonnie bra on but i might not keep it on so <coughs> they don't do many body kits for this model um, so I think if I can change the headlights, make them look a bit more modern, that'll make it a bit more appealing. Anyway, let's get cracking. Now according to the Haynes manual and on the internet, to get the headlights out, you need to take the bumper off, which means I'd have to take the wheels off, to take the inner arches off. It just sounds like too much hard work. And like I say, you can see the weather, it's terrible. So I bought this contraption. Now it's not a sex toy, it is actually for, I think the main purpose is when people, window fitters use them. So it's just a flat bag with a pump on it. And then as you can see, it starts to squeeze it and it pumps off. Now on the internet, apparently there's a couple of lads who uh, took the headlights out by shoving one of these underneath the headlight and pumping it up and it gives you the accessibility to get to the two nuts to take the headlights out so we've got nothing to lose so let's use this crazy contraption and let's see if we can do it right you unscrew the top nut like so Make sure you put some, put them somewhere safe. You don't need to unplug the light yet. Now the other two are under here. I've got an extension bar because apparently this nut on this side is quite hard to get. So I've pumped up my little bag and it's just under here. So I'm just going to feel for it and then start taking it off. There you go that has just saved me probably about three hours for a 10 minute job so you got eight mil bolt there eight mil bolt there eight mil bolt there take the top one off before you start prizing anything underneath to get to them and then all it is is the one connected right we'll take the van out and we'll start stripping this light looks like it's two clips top and bottom and then we'll get the heat gun and we'll try and encourage the the glue the factory glue to, to prise off and then hopefully it should all come off That's what we need, just put that up. So we'll keep that to one side. Now you can either take all the, the glue off 
and put your own silicon but I'd recommend when we put it all back together just heat it all up again and then push the light back down and it will set so we'll put that somewhere safe so that's what you're left with so it all comes apart because it's a unit so that's what we're going to spray black and you can just see how bad that is so I don't want to peel all this glue off because I've got no silica. So we'll put that to one side. Now I've bought some plastic, it's, it's household gloss paint and it will do metal and plastic. You shouldn't really need a primer, it's tied up to you. I might just put a dusting of primer on and then put this on. So we'll do that next. Moving on to the headlight, as you can see, it's horrible. So I'm going to be using my drill with a very with a 2,000 grit pad. Spray a bottle of water in. I've got my headlight compound. I'm just going to try and put 600 grit. Sandpaper, wet and dry. And you go left to right on there, so I'll just wet the light. Easy, like so. The application pad out. And that's come up a lot better. There are some little hairline scratches, as you can see. But it's not cloudy, so I'm happy with that. So there you go, nice easy fix. So, it's next day now, and I've, I'll wait for all the paint to dry and all the glue. Put them all back together, put them on, Good results, really happy with that. Looks a bit more modern. So, of course, it's my birthday today, so I hope you've enjoyed it. The wife's bought me a new tool cabinet, so I'm going to be moving with that. So, don't forget, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Take care, I'll see you again soon.